long as we know what we're doing. Should we do it on every line so that we know? Otherwise, you'll get a gap and you won't know what I'm doing. I won't know what you're doing. Right, OK. Just put it in after in line. We'll be all right. Down in the deep, darkest jungle, there was to be a special event. Why'd you tap your feet for a special event? I don't, I'm losing it now. A circus show for all the animals, and just about everyone went. Yes, down in the deep, darkest jungle. The tickets sold really fast. The tickets sold really fast. At last. To see Eric, the tap dancing elephant. No, 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 no. You're doing sound effects. A tap dancing elephant does not go, woo. That's more like it. Tap dance, go, go, hard, hard. Got it. Right, okay. Right. Whew, this is hard work. Right. <clears throat> we better start again just in case someone's filming this for YouTube and we're all going to look totally stupid. So. Here we go. Down in the deep, darkest jungle, there was to be a special event. A circus show for all the animals and just about everyone went. Yes, down in the deep, darkest jungle, the tickets sold really fast. <laughs> to see Eric, the tap dancing elephant. Here we go then. With his trunk, two big ears and fat eyes. Monkeys chattered. And lions roared. As they all made their way to the clearing, where four-legged artists of various sizes and various shapes were appearing. Tap dancing for Eric was, excuse me, wait till the end of the line. Thank you. You didn't bloody do it the first time. Now you're getting a bit smug if you don't mind me saying. Anyway. <coughs> do you like this one yet? No. No. Tap dancing for Eric was difficult. It took finesse, a deft touch, real class, tricky stuff for a bloody great elephant. With a trunk. Now the lofty giraffes were stood at the back with monkeys on their backs like motorbike riders. In the middle, laughing for no reason, were the hyenas. At the front sat some yodeling spiders. Oh, hang on a minute. In the middle, laughing. At the front sat some ogling spiders. Sorry about that. <laughs> but you feel stupid, eh? <laughs> Parrot shell, pieces of eight. <laughs> Snakes wriggled and hissed in the grass. As into the ring stepped Eric, with his trunk, tubing in. He tap danced badly. He fell over three times. Brilliant. Oh, four times. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> they all cheered <laughs> as he gave a loud trump. The parrot squawked, <laughs> fell out of the tree and landed on the floor with a bump. The parrot landed beside a rather randy baboon. The worst place that bird could descend. For the baboon was fond of the odd cockatoo, <laughs> which. <laughs> Come on. Which explained its disgusting rear. Oh no, you might be right. <laughs> Down in the deep, darkest jungle, Eric the elephant rose from his knees and everyone scampered for cover as he headed towards the trapeze. Monkeys in the trees shivered and shook. Same sound. As this huge tonnage of grey stuff flew past, this huge tonnage of grey stuff being Eric with his trunk. Two big ears. I don't. He swung to the left. <laughs> and then he swung <laughs> to the right. <laughs> Did Eric up on the high wire? There was just one problem. He didn't know how to stop. So he simply swung higher and higher. Up and over the tallest of trees. Eric was frightened. <laughs> Eric was really frightened. <laughs> his wits and by all accounts it was then the terrified beast developed a nasty attack <laughs> <laughs> well the animals screamed no they screamed and stampeded in all directions scared of this 
this floppy eared chap, not one was in doubt. They just had to get out before they found themselves covered. But snap, the trapeze had broken. Eric had gone over miles of jungle he passed, and that was the last ever seen of poor Eric. Oh, or his trunk. Or his trunk. Fuck. Still to this day, all the animals cry. Still they call out for Eric. And should you ever find Eric strutting round, bold as brass, you tell him you heard all about him and his trunk, his two big ears, and his big fat ass. The end. <laughs>